Hi everyone, welcome to Sotheby's. My name is David Pollock. I'm a specialist in the Old Master Paintings Department here. Uh, I'm gonna be taking you around today through the Inspired by Chatsworth exhibition, which is a selling exhibition we've put together, an amazing group of paintings, objects, and drawings happening just next door, the Treasures from Chatsworth exhibition. Come on in, I'm gonna show you some of my favorites. A selling exhibition is different, of course, from an auction in that everything has a price listed on the wall and is available for immediate sale from now through September 13th. So an important component of the selling exhibition was to try and mimic to the best of our ability the cross-collecting that has defined Chatsworth over the years. So in Inspired by Chatsworth, we've really, I think, done a very good job of putting together contemporary objects with old master paintings, drawings, and sculpture. Here you have a pair of works by the Japanese-born artist Junko Mori, who works in the UK and who is collected by the Duke and Duchess of Devonshire with an amazing portrait by Franz Halls dating from the 1640s. And for those who don't know, Halls was one of the great Dutch Golden Age portrait artists. He really is up there with Vermeer and Rembrandt in terms of his fame and um, skill level. Uh, this is an absolute masterpiece by Franz Halls. And what's so beautiful about it is this knife work drapery for which he was renowned. So I wanted to point this triptych out. It's uh, one of my favorite objects in the entire show. And uh, it's three paintings, but one scene by the 19th century British artist James Wingfield. And for those Anglophiles amongst us, you've been to London, perhaps you've seen these paintings and this room that's depicted, but never together. Above here are the very famous Raphael tapestry cartoons. These are preparatory works that Raphael did himself for Leo X, which hung in this room at Hampton Court Palace, but are now at the Victoria and Albert Museum. So here you have uh, how the room would have actually looked in the 19th century. And what I love about these paintings is that they really give a sense uh, for English courtly taste, uh, for how people lived uh, in England in the 17th, 18th, and indeed the 19th centuries. Uh, and here you have a, a period room in its original state shown on a, a really beautiful grand scale. This is a really beautiful vignette that I'm excited about. We've and I think really encapsulates what the idea was for the exhibition as a whole. We have a 18th century French painting, contemporary porcelain objects, and a 19th century inspired by an 18th century uh, commode. The painting is by uh, Claude Joseph Vernet, who was the preeminent French landscape painter of the 18th century. If you were any collector of note in the 18th century and later, a work by Baronet was in your home. And indeed, this painting it hung in the Hermitage for over 100 years and it left their collection in the early 19th century. Just below it are some very beautiful objects, some of my favorite in the entire show, by the Australian artist, Pippin Drysdale, uh, who works in porcelain. These are very light, though they may seem rock-like. Um, they're very light works of porcelain and they're inspired by uh, Western Australian outback and they're meant to evoke uh, the rocks and the landscape of Drysdale's native Australia. And they sit on top of uh, a Boul uh, marquetry uh, commode, which was uh, executed in the 19th century. And there's two pairs of these in the exhibition that have contemporary objects on top of them. And I would say that just this little vignette here is a, a sampling of the over 80 objects that we have in, inspired by Chatsworth. I encourage you to come in, uh, look at everything that we have. It's an amazing mix. Again, it'll all be on view here uh, until the 13th of September. Uh, and I hope you'll come in and enjoy. Thanks so much.